Here's the late report. Well, the Utney Reader magazine has named Seattle's Belltown neighborhood as one of the outstanding hip places in the country. Meanwhile, the American Journal of Medicine has named Seattle's Pill Hill neighborhood as one of the outstanding artificial hip places in the country. <laughs> KCTS Channel 9 has received the 1997 Governor's Choice Award for family-friendly employment practices, which include paid time off for volunteer work. The only requirement is that the volunteer work must consist of answering the phones during pledge week. <laughs> Actor Charlton Heston was in town this week speaking out against Initiative 676, calling the gun control measure evil. He said that if the initiative passes, It'll just be a matter of time before the only ones with guns on this planet will be those stinking apes! <laughs> Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> a book called The New Rating Guide to Life in America's Small Cities has rated Mount Vernon as the best small city in the country. They also named Washington's Patty Murray as the country's best small senator. <laughs> The, Evergreat, the Evergreen State College campus police began carrying guns last Friday. The tragic accidents began last Saturday. <laughs> Seahawk owner Paul Allen invited tennis star Monica Sellis to be his guest at last Sunday's game against the Raiders. Sellis said the billionaire showed no signs of acting like a computer nerd, except for the time he snuck up behind her and pretended to stab her in the back with a king dog. <laughs> From the <coughs> oh. Scientists from the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center are criticizing the film Gattaca for bad science that is silly and oversimplified. The scientists also pointed out that most of the stuff in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids probably wouldn't work either. <laughs> Finally, the third annual Big Hair Contest was held recently in Linwood, and for the third straight year, there was a 30,000-way tie for first place. <laughs> this is the right report.